yeah. at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. And I was just wondering what you think um, it's changing on the attitudes uh, for sexism and women in the industry and what you think needs to be changing. It's, it, oh God, I mean, we need a day. Um, you know, I, I, it's a weird thing because at the end of the day, you have to understand that this is a creative business and we're playing different characters. So not every character you ever play is always going to be respected or you're going to, you know, you, you play the gambit of what, what happens in life. So you're going to touch on sexism, you're going to touch on all these different roles. And so not every character can be a fine, upstanding citizen and a role model for women because that's not what life is. Um, the sexism in the business is is a hard thing to change because the business is um, is is very um, testosterone heavy, um, which it's fine. I mean, that's just is what it is. You know, I mean, I don't really have any problems with that in the sense that that's kind of you know you're not always going to walk into the world and have everything easy. You know, life isn't easy, and the things that you want aren't easy. And um, I've never had in Hollywood, I've never had that experience of like the casting couch or feeling like I was talked down to because I was a woman. I think it's because of the roles that I've also played. Um, um, and I also have come into this business in a very interesting time where the doors had already been opened for more girls. Um, Sarah Michelle Gellar and, and Lucy Lawless, these characters that came into our homes on a, on a weekly basis um, in the early 90s, that was the start of it um, in television. Um, and so it's, it started a long time ago. It's just a long road. Um, somebody said to me the other day, uh, what did some, it was, or it was a quote that somebody said about how women, oh, they think that it's, um, that women should have to go Dutch on everything these days and that women, men shouldn't have to open doors for them because women want to be equal and blah, 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 blah. And the woman's quote was, the day I make as much of you as you do as the, at the workplace, I'll open my own goddamn door. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, but at the same time, you have to understand it's just different. It's life. We're not, you know, there's not always going to be as many roles for women um, because for the most part, men are who go see movies. And statistically, that's what they're, they're that's who they're trying to target. So it's it's so messed up. It's a weird thing and we could talk forever, but that 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 women that's the strong women panel was amazing and it was so much fun to be a part of and um, um, it's just nice to know that that while there are not as many of those roles that those that they are coming and they are there and you just have to look for them. So. Can I add something to that? I mean, yeah. the, the thing I noticed and I, 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 I worry. Because mine was not a little bit. No, 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 it's not. It's not what I mean. <laughs> um, I, 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 I think that the, the, if there's a problem with sexism in women, it's we, we expect women not to age in our which, which I find um, offensive to me, um, and, and I, I just know, knowing lots of actresses, the pressure that they're under to look younger than they, they are, and, and how uh, roles just disappear for women when they sort of approach 40, and very few actresses end up you know, surviving 40s and 50s, and then they come back at the end. And I think that's wrong. I mean, you know, I live in LA, and I know that you know, LA is probably the plastic surgery capital of the world, and um, I'm also a Londoner, so I go home. To, I, I can see LA with fresh eyes, and I see how um, I, I find it quite sad the way um, uh, mature women are being pressured to, to, to sort of all look alike, uh, and not and not to you know be to age in the way that maybe um, you know that they might. And we don't reflect that on TV, and we don't reflect that on film, and it gets very hard, I think, for for actresses to. You know, to, to work, a eh? and, and to, to age naturally, and I, I find that um, yeah, sort of very sexist because it is a male industry, and that's the expectations that, that you know the male industry puts on you know, casting women. It yeah. is hard, especially. I mean, the, the, the body type is really hard to live yeah, up to too, yeah. for myself. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm the same size now that I was when I was 17. I haven't changed. I mean, the body's shifted slightly. I mean, as women know, you know, it, one year it's over here and the next year it's over there. Um, but I'm the same size. But I've been told I was overweight and needed to lose weight from the day I showed up in California, and I just haven't done it. 
but it's been harder. And I've always kind of wondered if I would have lost 20 pounds, maybe my career would be here instead of here. I get, it's just, it's, it is hard because you, you know, every once in a while I'll sit down and eat a burger and I'm like, I probably shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> um, and that's just too much pressure. It's too much pressure for anyone to live under. But it's, you know, so I don't know. It's, it's a hard industry for, for women to be in, but it's also hard for men, you know? There's more men with perfect bodies in movies than there are women, to be honest. So. Yeah, anyway, it's messed up. <laughs> it's such a long-winded answer. <laughs>